Okay, so uh, Buddy Terry and I, Howdy. We, we've um, we're gonna try a little project out that we've been researching, and there's really not a whole lot of information on the internet, Google or YouTube on this. But we found a a nice little trick for cleaning water, river water that's really silty, and um, the trick we're gonna use is a little. Uh, little mixture that we have here. It has aluminum sulfate or alum and um, we have one to one and a half ounces of dry mix to a quart of water and once you mix that up put two capfuls of that inside the bucket and stir it up and uh, half an hour to 45 minutes this silty water here is going to be nice and clean. And then uh, what you do is uh, you pour the top of it off carefully or filter the top off with a water filter. I would uh, probably recommend a gravity filter where you can just pour that in there. Let it, uh, let it slide through a gravity filter. It'd be a lot easier. So yeah, we just got this mixed up, and uh, here in about half hour I'll come back and we'll show you what the water looks like. Okay, we're only about 10 minutes into the mix, and it's hard to see. Zoom in here a little bit. Uh, you can see the particles collecting in there start to bond together and they'll eventually get heavy enough to just drop. If it's hard to see there, I apologize. I don't have the best light on this. Keeping it cool in the shade because it's going to be about 95 degrees or so out here. There is very little shade. But you can see how that's collecting together eventually going to settle all to the bottom there, leaving clear water on the top so we can filter off and then treat. Or uh, if you got a really good filter, you just filter it and you're good to go. Okay, so this is uh, about 30 minutes after uh, we put the alum mixture in there. And as you can see, you can see the sidewalls of the bucket. You can see all the way down to the bottom. It did not take too long. What the alum does is cause the particles to um, bond together with themselves and uh, it draws all the particles together and they get heavy and drop to the bottom. And uh, you end up with clear water. So, really good trick. Okay, so we just filtered off all this water uh, using these little uh, Catadyne Hiker Pro series. That's all we had. I wanted to bring a gravity filter, but uh, we'll try and do that uh, next trip. This is the uh, water that we filtered off. And it looks just as clean as anything that you'd buy at the store there. Clean and cold because it's been in the shade. got to be about 98 degrees outside and perfect that is refreshing nice and cool absolutely tastes great no funky taste at all sweet delicious sweet water sweet good good trick good trick I'm really excited so yeah one quart uh, or one Nalgene bottle I guess if you will you take an ounce to an ounce and a half of uh, dried alum Mix that up in there, let it dissolve real good, and then use about two capfuls of a Nalgene bottle to a five gallon bucket and just spin it around, wait about uh, 30 minutes, and you'll have uh, clean water.